uh, endpoints that were pinging. Right. Let's try that again. And this is all old hat to everybody. I mean, that's like Copilot helping you write that little line of code. I just love Copilot. <clears throat> yeah. Unfortunately, we're going to have to go through this whole process again because caching mechanisms aren't in place yet. <laughs> they are for building the image. You won't have to run dot slash preset or Docker compose up again. But as far as the actual NLP generation, that has to be run again. You can also see here that I'm working on breaking this down into some functions here. Yeah, don't worry about optimizing that yet. You know, hey, it's the way it is. Ideally, if, you know, if it's a long process that you orchestrate and something could break, it would love to have like those little save points in video games where you could like, ah, oh, at least I reached milestone three. I'll just start there again. Yeah. Um, which can kind of get an idea of what's, what we're actually doing here. So, here's our chat completions, uh, which are using exponential back off in order to connect to OpenAI and not run into the issue of error server overload, which it does tend to do a lot, because they are using a lot of compute and we need to help them a little bit so that they can balance it properly by right. timing out occasionally. I mean, just, just, real, a, just real quick to, to reiterate that. In other words, we hit OpenAI if they're overloaded wait you know 25 milliseconds if they're overloaded wait 50 milliseconds until we're just calling it less frequently and they're happier with us exactly <laughs> and if, if we go to the next one that's that's one of the more exciting ones this is the actual function call that is generating the sort of series of uh business propositions and YAML structure that dictates how this is going to be set up. So we got another one here. Yeah. And as you can see, data collection has one endpoint, but data pre-processing that has four and LP analysis has four and results presentation has three, which would map a little bit closer to something that I'm used to developing. That being said, it is fine to have this set up however you'd like. Um, and you should be able to break that down into the individual components of generate this sort of an architecture and the component of consume that architecture to prototype the thing. Because occasionally you might have some stuff in here that you don't need or some stuff in here that doesn't make sense. It's trying its best, but it's not perfect. Um, going back to our services, we have scaffold and the way scaffold works is it takes in each of the lines of that JSON, each of the functions, and it creates a sort of a function for it and a class for it, which get automatically exposed through this autocontroller file here. We have this init file. This is helping bind the models to the services. The model builder is what is actually writing stuff to the project here, the service builder as well. This is classes and functions respectively. And title extractor is what's coming up with that title that we just saw was a little bit long the other, the other minute. Um, and on top of that, we have the deployment functions which are billing accounts from GCP. We have our implement prototype, which is a wrapper for several of these components and project quick start, which connects this wrapper to a series of G cloud and Terraform commands to push this up into the cloud, as well as stage it locally with this compose up command. Ooh. Got another error down there, huh? And, uh-oh, well, oh, 
it's still still moving along. That's good. But it does make me a little bit nervous about what it's about to do. Let's go ahead and check out the actual nest, see if it started to build these services. Yeah, so you can see here data collection, data pre-processing, NLP analysis, and results presentation should have gotten mapped to these various different models. Not quite sure why these wouldn't be found. Here they are right here. I guess I can't find them there either. So you can find test models. Well, at the minimum, it's cool to see it writing the code out. And, um, you know, we have had some success with basically an entire generative architecture doing a lot of this heavy lifting and actually connecting the code. But obviously, got a little, got a little work to do and and uh, it's a complicated problem in some ways, um, but exciting. So we're about to run out of our, our, our free Zoom meeting anyway, and I got to wrap this up. So um, what, uh, besides this code that may not be quite connected because it can't, you know, you see errors and things, you might be able to just stop Visual Studio and bring it back up. Maybe, you know, maybe it'd suddenly connect all the code. I don't know. But what can you go show us on the Google Cloud project that... Uh, I, I can show you this project in a minute that might be... We're getting... We're, we made some progress. I don't know if it's just ignoring the errors or doing something else, but... Is this uploading just, something or what? Yeah, it's, it's decided to go on to the next step. It's just taking a quick break to load everything. Um, it's setting up Terraform. Okay. It's beginning. Creation complete after three seconds. Um, I, lo I love watching crossed. this stuff. It's so exciting. Okay. Okay. So tell me what it's doing, uh, run service. So has this already been uploaded as a Google project and it's just trying to spin it up or what's it doing? So if we look here, let's see if we can find, I don't, rem I don't remember looking out quite what it was tagged with, but we should be able to see in the logs earlier. Um, <laughs> should have seen some G Cloud things first. Amanda-NLP Insights. So that should be this one right here that's trying to interact with. Okay. So what would what would happen if you go to the TCP site? Would you would you see anything yet? I mean, this isn't technically a website. This is just a uh, project with a billing account and a container image attached to it needs to be connected to this is cloud run which is serverless containers and map to a url and that's kind of what terraform is trying to do right now oh okay all right so it looks like we did get back a url see here in the response body Let's see if this url actually looks anything what that's, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> Copy. Whoops. Anything like what we're looking for. Um cool. So that says detail not found. So it's it is running swagger. Let's nice. go to documentation. And there we go. Collect right. data, clean text, remove stop words, tokenize, limitize, all of this stuff to correspond to all of this stuff. <laughs> Sweet, dude. And we got our descriptions right there. 
Yeah, e everything seems to be. Let's see if we got slow, it. Yep. Slow down just a little. Slow down just a little bit. Let's let's just see one of the descriptions of something. It's going by too fast for me. Let's uh, look. Entity recognition extracts and classifies key entities from the text, such as companies, financial metrics, and geographic locations. These are switched. Um, that is an error in the auto controller that I get patched. You should input something like Apple Inc. is an American and multinational. Blah, 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 in this example value here. And you should get back a string. Got it. So how about Echo or anything? Do, can you show that any code is up in the cloud alive? Hmm. Yeah, you, let's you, see you, if there I mean, is you, do, a, you do have an Echo function. Echo test. We should be able to copy that button. Copy hello world, try it out, response hello world, execute that, and we got a response of hello world. Excellent. Prove that that's not... Great job, man. Yeah. <laughs> wow, it looks like you did a lot of work in a short, short amount of time. That's the whole goal of AI, right? <laughs> yep, yep. Okay, cool. So, Let's go look at echo test in the code over here. Sure. Uh, echo test was actually not generated. Or uh, echo test is just a template to test that there's things on the on the cloud that we're tapping into. Okay. This is just a template that I gave it. Um, okay. Well, using let's, this... let's look at how about a piece of piece of code that it did generate. Can we, can we take a look at? how deep it goes. Sure. I mean, it's not very deep, but what it does. <clears throat> yeah, so it's, for example, came up with export data, description of what it should do, generate summary, descriptions, all of this stuff. And then it's come up with these parameters here, as well as some examples for what you want to put in the parameters to get things to work. It should be the same for all of these. Let's come up with some imports that you might need, although it has repeated these, unfortunately. Um, we're going to work on that. That should be able to be pre-processed out, hopefully with regex or something. And yeah. Cool. Well, we have less than a minute before the stream stops. So it's been great, part one, looking at this. And uh, we'll, we'll try to come back and, and keep everybody updated um, on the project. Thanks, Arthur. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Okay. All right. I'm going to stop stream, man. We'll do this again. All right. Good. Uh, I'm glad it's working. I'm glad it's working. That's great. That's awesome. So much work. I'm excited. Okay. See you soon. All right, y'all.